we experienced unprecedented overall response rate of 91% in this patient population, which, which compared favorably to the historic control with a phase three TOGA study, which uh, demonstrated 47% overall response rate in combination of chemotherapy plus trastuzumab. Furthermore, we found that the combination of pembrolizumab, trastuzumab with capecitabine and oxaliplatin resulted in durable progression-free survival with 70% of patients were progression-free at six months, meeting the primary endpoint for the trial. And the median overall survival in this population was 27 months, which was very uh, uh, impressive uh, and uh, encouraging. Based on this data, now phase three keynote 811 study is accruing patients. And uh, it's exciting to see data in a phase two setting, but as always, we need to confirm uh, and really show the robust survival benefit in a registration phase three study. The ASCO 2020 presentation uh, that uh, you are referring to is correlative work and analysis of tissue and blood-based biomarkers that were conducted in the phase two study to try to answer that exact question. How can we predict which patients will respond uh, and will have durable responses since most patients respond, 100% of the patients had some sort of reduction in their tumor burden, which of the patients will have durable and sustained responses? And particularly since we had 16% of complete responses in this uh, study, which patients potentially long-term can we cure with this combination? 